Chicago. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, these are the metallic minerals of the Earth Science Reference Table. The first mineral we're demonstrating is graphite. It's very soft. It will not scratch glass. It does have cleavage properties, although it's tough to see because it is so soft. Uh, it does have cleavage properties, and it will leave a streak on a ceramic plate. This is graphite. The next one we have is galena. Galena is also very soft. It will not scratch glass. It does have cleavage properties, and it will leave a streak on a ceramic plate. This is galena. The next one we have is magnetite. Magnetite uh, does have a various uh, hardness, but if you push hard enough and get the right edge, it will scratch glass. Uh, it does leave a streak on a ceramic plate, but this shows uh, fracture rather than cleavage, fracture properties rather than cleavage. And of course, it will uh, attract a magnet. The next mineral we have is pyrite or fool's gold. Fool's gold is the hardest uh, metallic mineral on the, on the reference table. It will scratch glass. It has fracture properties and it will leave a streak on a ceramic tile. The last one we have is hematite. Hematite does sometimes show properties of uh, metallic luster. It, is, it varies in hardness depending on its composition. Uh, it does sh sh have fracture properties and it will leave a brownish red streak uh, on a ceramic tile. This is hematite. And these are the metallic minerals on the Earth Science Reference Table. Graphite, Galena, Magnetite, Pyrite, and hematite, uh, demonstrating the minerals that are very soft and non-metallic. The first one is talc. Okay, talc does show cleavage, although some of these, you know, it's tough to see because they weather quickly. Uh, it has a hardness of one. It is a silvery white in color, and it leaves uh, a white streak on a piece of ceramic. This is talc. The next one we have is sulfur. Sulfur is easily identifiable because it's yellow. It has uh, does not have cleavage properties. It fractures when broken. Uh, it has a uh, unique smell like, uh, like matches and it has a hardness of two. It also leaves a yellow streak on a ceramic plate. This is sulfur. The next one we have is gypsum. Okay, gypsum uh, is a pinkish white color. Uh, it does it, is, it does have for, uh, cleavage properties. However, because it is so soft, it usually looks like it's uh, it's fractured. But it's because it's weathered. So basically, the way that you want to identify gypsum is by its pinkish color. That's gypsum. The next one we have is muscovite mica. Muscovite mica is easily identifiable because it is in flexible thin sheets. It, will, it is also very soft. It will not scratch glass. And it is pretty much colorless. Looks like little laminations. This is muscovite mica. Okay. The next non-metallic mineral we have is halite. Okay, halite is very soft; it will not scratch glass. It tastes like salt if you lick it, but which you should not do. And it will not leave a streak on a ceramic plate. Uh, also, this is a very good example of uh, a mineral that shows cleavage. The next we have is biotite mica. This is different than muscovite mica because it is not clear. It's dark, it shows cleavage, it's soft, it will not scratch glass, and it will not leave a streak on a ceramic tile. This is biotite mica. The next mineral we have is calcite. Calcite is also very soft, it will not scratch glass. It does have fracture or excuse me, cleavage properties, 
and it will not leave a colored streak on a piece of ceramic tile. This is calcite. This next one is Amphibole Horn Blend. Uh, this is a little bit harder. If you catch the right edge on a piece of glass and press hard, it will scratch glass. If you press hard enough on a ceramic tile, it will uh, leave a little bit of a trace uh, of color on a ceramic tile. And it's, it does have cleavage properties, although it's at a very small scale. To look at it from a distance, it may look like fracture, but when you look up close with a magnifying glass, you can see how it, uh, it breaks along a plane. Again, this is Amphibole Horn Blend. This next one is olivine. Olivine, like olives, are green. It's very hard. It will scratch glass. It does not leave a streak on a ceramic tile. And again, its identifying property is going to be its greenness. It does, oh, it does not have cleavage properties. When it breaks, it shows fracture. The next one we have is quartz. Quartz is white and glassy. It's very hard. It will cut or will scratch glass. It does not leave a streak on a ceramic tile, and is um, it does fracture rather than have cleavage. The last one we have is garnet. Garnet is a brown, goldy uh, mineral, which if you press hard enough on a uh, streak plate on a ceramic plate. It will leave a colored dust. Uh, it will. It is hard enough to scratch glass. It's the hardest uh, mineral on the uh, Earth Science Reference Table, and it is uh, darker and is identifiable by its. Um, what would you say? Reddish. It's reddish. Yeah. Well, it's reddish brown color. This is garnet. Uh, 